Hey there, Louis Ecobellis here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the recently released Milestone sample app in Microsoft Teams. Now, this is considered a sample app as Microsoft developed it using its Power Platform in order to provide solutions for Teams users to manage project work and also to showcase the extensibility of Microsoft Teams when you use the Power Platform components such as Power Apps and Power Automate. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started. Um, what exactly is the Milestones app used for? Well, this is a task tracking slash project management app that is essentially used to organize work into milestones, uh, which are essentially comprised of a series of work items, and we can go ahead and track some data about those uh, milestones and those work assignments. Now, just to do a quick walkthrough of the user interface, this is the sample project that is included when you actually install this application. Now, to get started, um, to access this app, what you're going to want to do is you want to open up Teams and click on More Added Apps, and you're going to want to look for the Milestones app, and you're going to want to click this and add it. Now, this the installation process for me did take a few minutes, so you want to do that and let its progress um, go through right until it's installed, and there are a few questions that you'll have to answer. Now let's do a quick walk through the user interface here. So what you're looking at on the screen is the sample project that is included in the Milestones app. So on the left hand side you can see here you have your projects pane and you have the option to select from existing projects or to go ahead and create a new project. Uh, you can also search and filter or sort your projects. Okay, um, on the actual project dashboard, you can see here we have the name, and then below that we have our milestone status. Okay, so a milestone in project management is just a significant event, uh, deliverable, something that needs to be produced on a project uh, that is typically comprised of one or more tasks or activities. Now below the milestone, um, you can see here that we're tracking some tasks against um, the particular milestone, okay, and there's some color coordination that is occurring and that is mapping to some various attributes of our task assignments. Um, and then right below the milestones, you can see here we've essentially got a list of work items, which are, you know, uh, for all intents and purposes, tasks, okay. Um, now for these tasks, we're uh, relating them to a milestone, uh, we're assigning them to a category, we're assigning them priority, we can go ahead and assign them to an individual, uh, we can track some dates and we can track some status here. On the right hand side of the user interface, um, you can provide updates and this is just commentary as you progress as you're completing your task assignments. Um, and then we also have the ability to change the theme of our project and to access some settings. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and click on new project and I'll just walk through uh, what it's like to create a new project in the milestone sample app. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this project a name uh, and I'm going to call this, you know, create training course. Okay. Uh, and then you're asked to fill in some milestones, okay? And in the context of this example, um, you know, some of my milestones might be develop course outline, uh, you know, maybe create my course script and create my course content, okay? And then you can go ahead and assign dates for these milestones. And if you wanted to add additional ones, you could do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click next. Uh, the next thing it's gonna ask you to do is to select your project team members. Uh, I'm just gonna leave, leave this as is for now, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on create. Okay, and you can see here that this create training course project was created. And again, we have our milestone status at the top here and we have our tracking items listed below and we don't currently have any uh, work items um, listed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on new work item. Okay, this is gonna bring up the work item card. First thing you wanna do is uh, create your work item name. So under create my training course, uh, the first work item might be, you know, uh, brainstorm training topics, for example. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill this out and assign this to myself. Now I'm going to relate this to one of those milestones I, I defined when I was creating this project. So I'm going to relate this to develop with my course outline. Uh, in terms of the status, this is new. Okay, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the category field. So right now you're going to see that there's some existing fields in here. Uh, I will show you how to change this. So I'm just going to leave this blank for now. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and assign this a priority. Okay, uh, and assign it a target date as well. And last, I will enter a description. 
And I'm going to go ahead and click on create. And you can see here that it's now populated um, the work item in my tracking list. And you can also see that it's updated um, the actual milestone um, summary at the top here. Uh, and it's sort of color coordinated. So it's telling me I have one work item in the new status under develop course outline. Okay, and you can also see the activity log has updated. And if you click on this card, again, it's just going to bring you into that activity, which was I created this new work item. Okay, uh, so that's essentially how to use the um, Milestones app. Uh, what I will show you quickly is if you come into the settings icon here, okay, this is where you can go to access some settings for your project. So right off the bat, if you wanted to delete your project, you could do that by clicking on the delete button. If you wanted to change the project name, you could do that here. If you want to add members to this project, you could do that as well. If you need to make any amendments to the actual milestones that you defined at uh, creation, you can do that here as well. So these top settings apply specifically to the project. And the second half of this screen here are what are called global settings. So you'll notice you have the option here to update the categories that we saw. So by default, Microsoft has populated these categories. Um, you can delete these, you can rename them or you can just add um, new categories by clicking on the new category button okay and um, I will just call this new category ideation for example okay uh, same thing with priority Microsoft has given you sort of a default scale you can click into these and change them delete them or add them uh, and then again last option here is the status uh, Microsoft has again given us some default statuses and you can change these um, or you can delete them or add new ones altogether okay um, so that's it that's just a quick overview of how to use the new Microsoft milestones app I hope you found this tutorial useful if you did please like it please drop a comment below and please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials thanks for stopping by talk to you soon